Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to discuss the five ways to get ripped and build muscle at the same time. Now, growing up, I observed lots of things, and one of them was that there were two kinds of guys when it came to eating carbs. First, the guy who could eat them and would be muscular, hard, full, lean, and he'd get energized when he'd eat carbs. And then there was the other guy that would be puffy and soft and would get sleepy and tired after eating carbs. And fortunately, I was the second guy. So at a young age, I assumed that my body just didn't do well with carbohydrates because of my genetics. And so I started a low carb diet. I also took it to the extreme at one point going completely no carbs, which was at that point a ketogenic diet as well. That was back in 1994, but I'll talk about that in a different video. But mostly, I stuck to low carbs for many months, in fact, over a year. And the good news is that I did see results. First, you know, you, you quickly see the results because you lose a lot of water weight. And this is because for every one gram of carbohydrates, you hold about three grams of water. So when you do lose the, the weight, it's not fat loss, but the scale shows improvements in weight loss, and you obviously look better because you're retaining less water, which I naturally do. Initially, also, I was more energetic having lower carbohydrates. So, so far, so good. Unfortunately, the problem was with my workouts. They basically sucked. I had very little stamina. I couldn't do as many sets or reps. And worst of all, I couldn't get a deep contraction in my muscles and I rarely, rarely got a good pump, which in all honesty is a big reason I enjoy my workouts. Because without getting a big pump, I feel like I didn't like even work out. I feel like I'm just kind of going through the motions. And then I leave the gym dissatisfied. I mean, even Arnold compares a pump to coming. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Let's say you train your biceps. Blood is rushing into your muscles and that's what we call the pump. Your muscles get a really tight feeling like your skin is going to explode any minute. You know, it's really tight. It's like somebody blowing air into, into your muscle. It just blows up and it feels different. It feels fantastic. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, well, as uh, having sex with the is that woman. Even though I did lose weight, a lot of it was also water and valuable muscle weight over time. Plus, after a few months, I actually did start to get more and more tired. Basically, something in my body was changing, but in a bad way. When I did a blood test, I found out that my thyroid levels had dropped dramatically which later I find out that it is because of due to low carbohydrates. By the way, this negatively affects women more than men. If there are any women listening or guys, you can tell your ladies who are on a low carb diet. Also, my body had completely adapted to the low carb diet. I couldn't cut, you know, cut down the carbs any lower. And soon I became skinny fat rather than muscular and lean. Yes, I lost fat, but I also lost a lot of hard-earned, valuable muscle. I also had lower thyroid, which meant a slower metabolism and less fat burning. Additionally, my cortisol levels were higher due to the lower carbohydrates. Cortisol is a catabolic hormone. It's a powerful stress hormone that actually causes muscle loss and increase in belly fat. It can be a really bad hormone, and I'll discuss that topic in a future video. Now, this was all in my early 20s, and I didn't know much about as much as I know now, obviously. However, I was lucky, and I had a great mentor, Dan Duchesne, who later I became his assistant. Now, back then, Dan Duchesne was known as a steroid guru, and I learned so much from him simply about hormones and lifting weights and bodybuilding and, and losing fat. He also helped me when no one else would or could. He was honest, and he made things really easy for me to understand. And he told me that my problem was not necessarily carbs, but the fact that I had poor insulin sensitivity. Basically, my insulin receptors weren't very sensitive. He said by improving insulin sensitivity, 
I could eat more carbs and that would be utilized more for building muscle, more for energy and actually burning fat and not storing fat. I would have better workouts and thus be able to build more muscle and that also means less body fat. And my thyroid would improve, my cortisol levels would drop, my IGF, which is a growth hormone levels, that would also rise, which is one of the most potent muscle building hormones in the body. And to make a long story short, I did what he told me, and over the next few months, I made more improvements in my body than I did in the previous two years combined, all by simply improving my insulin sensitivity, which improved my blood sugar levels and lots of other hormones indirectly. I did eat more carbs, I gained more muscle, I actually got leaner, and I started having those amazing workouts and having great pumps again. I was excited, I was motivated, and I was enjoying my workouts. I improved one of the most powerful and important hormones in the body, and that's insulin, which when used correctly can either build you lots of muscle or it can build lots of fat. In fact, this is why some bodybuilders will actually use injectable insulin. Of course, you don't need to do such extreme drugs, which can literally kill you. You can actually do this naturally. And for the past 25 to 30 years, since I learned about the importance of managing insulin and blood sugar levels, I've done everything possible to keep insulin sensitivity high and optimize my insulin levels, which by the way, will dramatically improve your health in every aspect, not just the way you look, but in your health, your fitness and longevity, and I'll discuss that in a future video as well. So let's get started because today I wanna give you my top five best ways to improve insulin sensitivity naturally so you can also build more muscle, you can get leaner, and live a longer and healthier life. Also, one last thing I wanna let you know. The older we get, the worse the insulin sensitivity becomes. Thus, you really need to make this a priority and take action on what you learned today. Okay, so let's start with rule number one, and that's to build more muscle frequently. You see, the greatest thing you can do is build more muscle. This means you must lift weights. Now, this can be with barbells or dumbbells or machines, cables, you know, bands, your body weight, and so forth. It must be resistance exercise. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're young or old, male or female. Everyone can build more muscle, and they should. Now, when it comes to your workouts, do them frequently. This is what I meant by build more muscle frequently. This means that I'd rather you worked out 20 minutes six days a week instead of 40 minutes three times a week. It comes out the same, but more frequently is better. Again, I'd rather you did 15 minutes twice daily instead of 30 minutes once daily. You see, every time you move and you contract your muscles, you increase insulin sensitivity and create lots of other hormones. Also, super long workouts with, for example, lots of volume and sets and reps depletes muscle glycogen and glucose in the muscles and liver. And thus, it increases the stress hormone cortisol, which then decreases testosterone, two things we do not want. And I'll talk about these two specific topics in a future video because it is a very important topic. Number two, you want to take supplements. The sad truth is that most supplements suck, all right? They don't work because they're using the wrong ingredients in the wrong form and the wrong dosage. Trust me, I know this. I've been at this for too many years. However, there are a few correctly formulated supplements that really work and will dramatically improve your blood sugar and insulin sensitivity. And when used at the correct dose, they can have almost like drug-like positive effects, but without the negatives. By far, one of the best all-in-one formulas is called Blood Sugar Optimizer. It's actually a product that I use myself. You just take one or two pills with your carb meals, especially after your workouts. And it's clinically validated and it really does work. In fact, type 2 diabetics who take it also see big improvements in their blood sugar levels. So it's very powerful and it is safe. And I put a link to Blood Sugar Optimizers. You can get more information about it, plus an additional 10% coupon for my YouTube subscribers. Number three, you want to take fish oil. Now, Blood Sugar Optimizer and fish oils are my two favorite supplements for improving insulin 
and blood sugar levels. Now for fish oil, I take about one to two grams three times daily with food. I take the raw oil because for me, it's just cheaper than me taking a bunch of pills. But for most people, you probably won't take the raw oil, you'd rather take pills. So you can take two pills of the fish oil and two pills of, for example, blood sugar optimizer three times daily with food, and you will see some very cool positive body composition changes over the next few months. And I put a link to the fish oils that I take. You can get the links at Amazon and below in the description area. Number four, you want to take fiber. You see, fiber has lots of health benefits, one of them being improving insulin sensitivity. Besides, most people diets have very little fiber, especially if you're on low carbs or you know carnivore diets and all these different things. Now, I take psyllium husk fiber, I take it two to three times daily for a total of at least five grams of fiber daily. Some of you may need more, start off low. For this, I take the pills because I like it much better than the powder. I don't like taking the powder. I'll put it, I'll put the links below to the psyllium husk that I take. The links are over at Amazon. You can get them below again in the description area. And number five, you want to sleep better. Listen, sleep is awesome and it fixes so many problems in the body, so many hormonal problems. Deeper sleep lowers the stress hormone cortisol, which also improves insulin sensitivity and it increases testosterone and so many great hormones. And I'll be doing an entire video series about improving sleep in the very near future. It's too complicated of a topic to get into right now. But one tip I can give you is you should try to go to bed before midnight, or at the very least, try to uh, keep the same sleep schedule every day. By trying to go to sleep same time and waking up around the same time daily, that's a great way to get deeper sleep. Now, I mentioned a lot of videos that I'm gonna be doing in the future, so if you're not already subscribed, please do so right now, and then click that bell icon so you'll be notified when they will be released. But let's quickly recap what we've learned today. If you wanna build more muscle, you wanna get leaner, you wanna live longer and have a healthier life, you must improve your insulin sensitivity and your blood sugar levels. This is especially important as we get older. And the way you do it, you want to build more muscle frequently, you want to take blood sugar optimizer plus fish oil three times daily with your meals, take a fiber supplement two times daily, and sleep better. Try to go to bed before midnight and sleep at the same time and keep that same sleep schedule daily. And I put all the links uh, that I mentioned today, everything that I've mentioned below this video in the description area. So please scroll down, take action, improve your blood sugar and insulin levels. You'll look and feel so much better. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.